Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, breaking news, it is now official, Juventus will not participate to the next edition of the Conference League, Juventus will not participate to any other European competition for the season 23-24, on top of that Juventus will have a fine of possibly 20 million euro, and it is a news that has been reported by UEFA officially on their site today on the 28th of July 2023 with an official press communique from Juventus in Italian and in English on their own site. A news that from the moment that was official and we were expecting this news to be official today, well, you find me absolutely not agreeing with it. I am absolutely not aligned with the Juventini that are celebrating that news. Ragazzi, breaking news, a video that I didn't want to do, but I have to because we have to speak about the good things like this morning, the beautiful things that we saw in Juve Milan, but also about the bad things. And I will tell you why. I am absolutely against the news that has been revealed, even if, let's be honest, it's a competition that is absolutely not important, not from the elite level that Juventus needs to play in, a competition that is honestly a competition that you don't want to play. But from the moment that you are in that competition, well, it's better to play for a lot of reasons. So if you didn't yet, maximum of like, if you didn't yet, continue to subscribe on the channel because we have to speak also about that bad news. So let's start from the beginning, we are on the 28th of July 2023 and only today, only today, half of the Calcio Mercato, Juventus knows that they will play two competitions only, Serie A and the Coppa Italia without participating to the other news. On the UEFA side, what can we see? That Juventus violated the UEFA regulatory framework and breached the settlement agreement signed on August 2022. As a result, blah, 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 they decided to exclude Juventus from the 23-24 UEFA men's competition and to impose an additional financial contribution of 20 million euro on the club. Of that amount, 10 million euro is conditional only if Juventus is not respecting the financial agreement of 23, 24, 25 of the financial books. That's what UEFA decided today. The answer by Juventus, the statement by President Gianluca Ferrero is the following. We regret the decision of UEFA club financial control body. We do not share the interpretation that has been given to our defense and we remain firmly convinced of the legitimacy of our actions and the validity of our arguments. However, we have decided not to appeal the judgment. This decision is in line with the one that we taken in May in the context of the disputes with Federazione Italiana Gioco Calcio, as in that case, we prefer to put an end to the period of uncertainty and ensure full visibility and certainty to our internal and external stakeholders about the club participation in future international competition. A lot of other things, and then he finished with, despite the painful decision, we can now face the new season by focusing on the field and not on the courts. We now will fully focus our attention on the championship, Serie A, and the Italian Cup, Coppa Italia. We will do our utmost to give our fans the greatest possible satisfaction in these competitions. Now that I read the official words, now that I told you where we are at, I will tell you why I am not happy. First of all, let's be honest, again, like you, it's a competition already Europa League, the Orange Cup, that I didn't want to participate in. Juventus needs to play every single season in the Champions League. So imagine if we are playing the third cup, the least important, the smallest one, Conference League, that a few weeks ago I couldn't even pronounce between Nations League, Confederation League, Confer I didn't know how to pronounce. So I didn't want to play in that cup. Now, First of all, I will never celebrate Juventus being punished. This is against my values, especially like President Ferrero is repeating officially, as Juventus always said, despite our defense, despite we are firmly convinced of the legitimacy of our actions and validity of our arguments. So I will never ever celebrate these kinds of punishments against Juventus for something that we can speak about how much we want, but I still need to understand what we did. So in that case, I'm not celebrating, but that news has also consequences. We know it, we spoke about it, I already made some videos about it, we have to many players and the future 
of having so many players is in danger. Why? Because at the moment on the 28th, well, we are super late with our Mercato exit and entry strategy because we were waiting to understand how many competition we would play. And you know it, participating to the Conference League, it's not a guarantee, but you had more chances, bigger chances to arrive quite far in that competition. That means a lot more games to participate in. More games means a lot more rotation and also players that we appreciated this morning why early in the USA players like Nongay, Huysen, Kenan Yildiz, but also other players like Ealing, like Sule, etc., etc., Nicolussi, that gave a beautiful impression to us, the fans. Well, probably they will have zero space because playing only once a week with a second competition that is starting in January Coppa Italia means that you have only the opportunity to play 16 players per game, 16 players per week. That means 11 starters plus, if you want to, you are not obliged to, five subs. If we have 40 players, my friend, that means that we have a real problem because a lot of players will have zero minutes, zero possibilities to play, zero opportunity to show us that they are important, zero opportunities to rotate the team, to let some players rest and they can show their values, changing, testing, doing some things. I'm sad because if this morning I saw a Dean Huysen showing how great he was, I was sure that that was a player that could potentially play that minor game in Serie A so that the other players could rest to play an important European competition or vice versa, the big players are playing in Serie A with a Dean Huysen, for example, being tested, being played, giving rest to the other players during the week. So that's a problem. Now I see a lot of people celebrating the beautiful, intelligent, smart, youth mercato of Milan with players like Pulisic maybe they will also go towards a player that I really appreciated Musa that is playing at Valencia that I really wanted already wanted last year remember how good I was speaking about him during the World Cup well mercato of Milan is not because of the sale of Tonali it's not because of the investment of their president but probably it's because they arrived in a competition called the Champions League because Juventus was punished first by Federazione Italiana Gioco Calcio with a minus 10 that took us out of that European Champions League. And now on top of that, we had to wait. And that's a real shame until the 28th of July to understand that we are not even playing the less important cup. On top of that million that we will have to pay as if our financial books were not already that great. Absolutely not. So on top of that, again, 10 million here. That could possibly be 20 if we are not able to fix our books. Ragazzi, a lot of consequences. I told you about youth players. I told you about the consequences of other teams that are doing a better mercato, despite of Juve. Probably now Fiorentina will have an injection of money and doing probably uh, other mercato, like, for example, a Parisi that they already signed. Well... A disaster. I'm really sad to hear that. Again, huh? I didn't necessarily want to play that competition. I prefer to play the Champions League. But it's a news that is not making me happy because we lived all together a horrible on and off the field season 22-23. And now that we are looking at it big again, that we are looking behind, that we are analyzing a season, it has been a season that was a farce, that was a joke, that we played actually for nothing, only for the frustration of the supporters that during that all year have spent a lot of time trying to inform themselves, trying to understand what was well, what was wrong, and still at today we have no answer. The only answer that we have today is Juventus will be punished and will not play that competition. And not playing that competition, not playing any European competition is bringing consequences. The consequences of losing more money, and probably making decisions on the Mercato that were not the one that we wanted to do. And probably seeing some players like the Winter, like a Berenicea, like a Huysen going on loan or being sold because we have to make space. Making space will be now fundamental, will be the most important word for Giuntoli. In his book, it will not be Mercato entry, but Mercato exit, exit, exit. Ragazzi, I told you we can speak about that uh, during a live session to share opinions, to share ideas. But again, I'm not happy with it. 
Comments, 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 that's the most important thing. Grazie, forza. You bet.